This tutorial looks at how to set up your 3G DVR for local and remote access using a PC. We will be assigning the DVR an IP address. If you are unfamiliar with IP addressing and networking, please see our videos on YouTube on port forwarding. If you have a dynamic IP address, don't worry, each DVR is supplied with a free DDNS account. This means you can access your video using an easy to remember name rather than a complicated bunch of numbers. To get started we must first assign the DVR an IP address. Press your menu button, select setup and main menu. Then select network setup. You can select DHCP or LAN settings. DHCP will assign your DVR a IP address automatically, but we prefer to use LAN because we can remember the IP address and we have already set this up on our router. Then proceed to enter your IP address and you can copy your subnet mask, gateway and DNS settings from your router. Then proceed to HTTP setup and ensure enable HTTP server checkbox is checked. Then enter the port number you have selected on your router. Once you have done this, press OK. You can select DDNS setup to enter your free DDNS account details. The free account is under IDVR or you can use other popular services such as DINDNS, NOIP and some others. You can select mail setup to send you email notifications of motion detection alarms which will also attach a picture. And you can also set up MSN account to send you notifications to your MSN accounts. Once you have completed this, press OK and you can come out of the menu system. Your DVR is now ready for remote access. To view your video from a remote location, you will need to download a small application to your PC. You can download this directly from your DVR. This is convenient meaning you don't have to carry software around with you. To download the application, simply enter the IP address, the local or external IP address, directly in your web browser. and add the port number. Press enter and enter the username and password. The default username is admin and the default password is 1111 and press OK. You will then be presented with a link to download the application. This will work on any Windows XP or Vista operating system. Once you have downloaded the application, double click the icon to start the software. You will see an interface like this. This is exactly the same as you would physically see if you were by the DVR and a standard monitor. Control and operation is exactly the same too. This is convenient meaning you don't have to learn two different interfaces. You can see the file menu on the top. This allows you to record what you are viewing live to your local PC or you can play local and remote recorded video. You can edit the channel names. You can view and hide captions. View full screen and disable resizing. And you can select different languages. If you were connected remotely, you would see your live video as if you were directly standing in front of your DVR and a standard monitor. All the menu controls are exactly the same too, although it's a lot easier using a mouse.